10 speed transmission is just a 5 speed on top of another 5 speed. If you've driven a manual transmission before, you're probably familiar with the M pattern associated with shifting through the gears. On the front of the shift handle is the range selector or splitter, which is used to select the low range gears in the down position and the high range gears in the up position. The low range gears are 1st through 5th and low reverse, and the high range gears are 6th through 10th and high reverse. The splitter talks to the transmission in neutral, which means pushing the splitter up or down while you're in gear doesn't change the gear you're in. So, if you put the truck in third gear with the splitter down, and then flip the splitter up, you're still in third gear. With the splitter up in third, if you push the shifter to neutral and then back to third, you're now in eighth gear. The splitter only talks to the transmission when the shifter is in neutral. We'll talk more about this in a few minutes when we cover shifting from fifth gear to sixth gear. Let's take a look at the width of the shift pattern. You may assume that it's wider than it is because the vehicle is so large, but as you can see here, this is neutral and from the right side to the left side is about 7 inches. The point at which the shifter stops is called a hard wall. There's a right hard wall and a left hard wall. The right hard wall gives you access to 4th and 5th when the splitter is down, and 9th and 10th when the splitter is up. The left hard wall gives you access to low reverse and first when the splitter is down, and high reverse and sixth when the splitter is up. You can also locate the soft wall, which is in the middle. As you can see from the right hard wall, it's as easy as pushing the shifter to the left with a finger. If I want to pull the shifter to the left hard wall, I have to use a little force because I'm overcoming a spring that sits between the middle soft wall and the left hard wall. If I ease off the pressure, the spring pushes the shifter back to the soft wall. By the way, it's called a soft wall because we can push through it. Finding the soft wall allows you to access second and third when the splitter is down, and seventh and eighth when the splitter is up. If you can't find the soft wall when you're shifting on the road, it's probably because you're nervous. Nervousness causes some students to grip the shifter too tightly, and muscling the shifter makes it difficult to feel the spring and locate the soft wall. These big trucks require very little arm strength to shift. You'll expend more energy pushing the stiff clutch pedal. Students are required to double clutch every shift, which means the clutch has to be pushed twice every time you shift. In a semi-tractor, you need to push the clutch and move the shifter at the same time. This takes some coordination, but you can practice anywhere. Try this exercise in a chair. Push an imaginary clutch pedal with your left foot and move your right hand at the same time. One, two, one, two, one, two. This exercise will develop your hand-foot coordination and you'll build a little muscle memory from the repetition. That one, two speed is recommended for every upshift. When double clutching, you'll want to push the clutch in just two to three inches. When you depress the clutch pedal, you should also move the shifter to neutral at the same time. With the second clutch, you'll move the shifter to gear. Clutch to neutral, clutch to gear. One, two, clutch, clutch. Push the clutch pedal and move the shifter at the same time. One, two. Two short clutches, two to three inches. You also have to remember which gear you're in and the location of your next gear in the shift pattern. Use the walls to find your gears and it'll become second nature. Always remember that when you push the clutch pedal, you have to release the gas pedal. The opposite is also true. When you push the gas pedal, release the clutch pedal. These two pedals must be operated independently of each other. Avoid pushing both of these pedals in at the same time. The only time we push the clutch pedal to the floor is when the vehicle is stopped. Here's why. When the vehicle is stationary, the gears on the transmission are turning. To put a stationary truck in gear, we need to stop those turning gears. For a stopped truck, you must stop the gears. You can stop the gears by pushing the clutch pedal all the way to the floor. When you push the clutch pedal to the floor, you engage the clutch brake, which stops the gears from turning and allows you to put the truck in gear. By the way, if the vehicle is stopped and you're having trouble putting the truck into gear after fully depressing the clutch pedal, release the pedal just a hair. It's just the opposite when the truck is moving. If the vehicle is in motion, the gears have to be turning. A moving vehicle requires moving or spinning gears. The gears will continue spinning if you avoid pushing the clutch pedal to the floor. 
This is why we only push the clutch pedal in two to three inches when we're shifting. Keep the clutch pedal away from the floor when the truck is moving. If you find yourself fully depressing the clutch, you're probably nervous. Try pulling over and practicing two short clutches, two to three inches deep, at the one, two speed. Do it 20 to 30 times and hit the road again. Consider using a side grip when you shift because there are some advantages to gripping the shifter from the side. First of all, it's easy to manipulate the splitter when it's always between your second and third fingers and you have your thumb on top of the shifter for leverage. But here's a better reason. Shifting from sixth to seventh. New students sometimes accidentally shift to ninth when they're trying to hit seventh. Here's one way to fix that. In sixth gear, use the bottom part of your hand to push the shifter to neutral. Then allow the spring to push the shifter to the middle soft wall. Then push straight forward to seventh. When the spring pushes the shifter to the middle, you'll feel it in the palm of your hand with a side grip. Practice this a few times in a stationary truck with the engine idling and the clutch fully depressed. Here's another way to use the walls. Shifting from five to six is the longest shift because you're shifting from one hard wall to the other. Here's an efficient way to make sixth gear. Since you're required to double clutch, why not take care of most of the shift with the first clutch? Here's what I mean. When you clutch to neutral, pull the shifter all the way over to the left hard wall, then clutch again and pull straight down to six. Grab a truck that isn't rolling and practice this a few times. Be sure to pre-select sixth gear when you're in fifth by pushing the splitter up. The splitter talks to the transmission when you shift to neutral, so if you're in fifth gear and push the splitter up, you're still in fifth gear. When you shift to neutral, the splitter notifies the transmission that you want the higher gears, and the transmission then makes those gears available. If you shift to neutral and then pull the splitter up, it may be awkward and prolong your shift. Better to get it out of the way while you're in fifth so that you can concentrate on the long shift to sixth. One last item about the splitter. If you come to a stop and forget to push the splitter down before shifting to your start gear, the truck will likely stall when you try to pull forward. Try to remember, splitter down whenever you come to a stop.